Hello, in this video I'm going to be going over ionization equations. And ionization equations is basically just looking at an acid or a base, and you're putting it in an amphoteric substance, usually water, and you are um, allowing the ions to disassociate. So an example, simple one would be just hydrochloric acid, HCl. It's aqueous, meaning it dissolves in solution and you're going to add liquid H2O. So since this is an acid, according to Bronsted and Lari, it's going to give an H+. So once it gives an H+, it's going to be just a chlorine, and it lost a positive, so now it's minus, and that's aqueous, plus H2O gains an H, so now it's H3O+. Plus and it's also aqueous. And that is the ionization equation for um, HCl, monoprotic acid. What if we did something that was a little more difficult, like H2SO4? This is, again, an acid, but it's a diprotic acid, meaning it has two protons or two hydrogens. And if you add water to this guy, it's going to form two ionization equations, one for each proton or hydrogen it can give off. All right, so the acid, again, gives an H+. Plus. So it's going to form HSO4, but it lost a positive, so now it's minus charge. It's aqueous. Plus H2O gained an H, so now it's H3O+, plus, also aqueous. However, you, you can't stop there. you got to write all of the ionization equations, so we're going to continue on with our HSO4 minus charge, this is aqueous, and we're going to add some more water, liquid, and the H plus is going to be given off of this same acid, it's going to form SO4 now 2 minus aqueous plus again H3O plus aqueous. So there are two ionization equations for a diprotic acids such as H2SO4 because it has two hydrogens. Something a little more difficult, we have H3PO4, this is aqueous, it's an acid, plus H2O liquid, and right away I know this is going to have three ionization equations because there are three H's, so it's a triprotic acid. All right, and we have this H3PO4 is going to give an H to form H2PO4 with a minus 1 because it lost a positive H. That's aqueous. And this water forms H3O+. we got to continue on because we have some more hydrogen. So it's H2PO4 minus aqueous. That's a minus. Plus H2O liquid. Reacts to form. And that H2PO4 gives off another H to form HPO4 now with a 2 minus aqueous plus H3O plus because this water gained an H plus. And the last one is HPO4, 2 minus aqueous plus H2O liquid. Reacts to form, it loses its last hydrogen, so it's PO4 now with 3 minus charge. This is aqueous plus H3O plus aqueous. And those are the three ionization equations for this triprotic acid, um, phosphoric acid. What if we have a base, such as NH3? Normally bases have an OH, but this is ammonia. It's an exception. It's a H plus receiver, so according to Bronsted-Lari, it's a base. This is aqueous plus H2O liquid. So since NH3 is the H plus receiver, it's the base, it's going to receive the H plus instead of give the H plus. And it's going to become NH4 plus, and that's aqueous, plus OH minus because water lost in H. And that's the ionization equation for a base.